All right. Uh, so um, here we are uh, with another one of the Bridgeburner tutorial series. Today we are going to be exploring the 3D Floor plugin, um, which is a uh, what originally started as an optional plugin that you could add to um, GZ Doom Builder made by Boris, and is now integrated into Ultimate Doom Builder and is a fantastic tool. Uh, it speeds up um, your creation of um, 3D floor structures, uh, yeah, a huge amount, um, and particularly when doing complicated things. Um, so today we're going to make a spiral staircase. Um, uh, yeah, full full 360. Um, uh, might do two layers, um, but definitely a full 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 360 uh, spiral stairs. So we'll start off with um, just, uh, building the box. Just move to house our stairs. Right. So say this is your map, and you want to um, build a staircase. 3D floor plugin. Uh, mode over here um, on the uh, the left hand side about middle uh, so the triple stack um, below the uh, sound propagation mode that's your 3d4 mode you know you're in 3d4 mode because this red this green square will appear um, I've actually got a hot keyed to tilt um, as well so if I'm jumping between oh, you won't see me going over there I'm hot keying it because um, I've got on tilt um, so this green square is where it will automatically place your 3d floor control sectors Normally you have uh, old school way you manually draw the control sectors, um, uh, but the 3D floor plugin does all that hard work for you. But it can't be inside your map geometry because you can't put a sector inside the sector. Uh, so what it will do is come up, so if we try and create a 3D floor, um, it'll come up with this area, no space left for control sectors. If that happens, it means this is over an area where there are there is map geometry and it does sometimes reset uh, with updates i've had that happen um so if you do see that area pop up it'll be in it'll be either in the middle of your map or on the map origin or you will have just drawn something where where you've got it assigned so move it off to the side you can do that by right clicking and dragging move it you'd, normally you'd move it well away um you know from any potential map space um it'll always stick to the 64 grid and then you can make it bigger yeah, you know, if you're like me or insane gazebo and make thousands of 3D floors, you'll need a lot of space. You can move it and use the relocate control sectors button to shift those control sectors. If you find that chip, my map is now encroaching into the zone. I need to move everything. You don't have to move them manually. Use the relocate control sectors, um, or you can leave the ones that you made there. Put some over here. Put some over here. Um, it's it's a perfectly customizable um, uh, space. <laughs> Um, so that's your control sector box. We're going to start with a, we're going to make a 24 sided um, central spire. Um, so, like I said, we're going to make, some, make a spiral staircase starting from the bottom, coming all the way up out of 3D floors. Um, we'll probably come up to here actually, make it a, a, a three quarter circle. Then we can build a landing. Um, so, 24 sided. Ellipse is the magic number for um, uh, be able to use rotational um, uh, snap to grid. Uh, so we tend to tend to start with that. You can make it a whatever number you want. I'm just gonna space out these um, these stairs. So these are these will form the stairs of our spiral staircase. Um, you can do this using the stair builder as well. I like doing it with the ellipse tool because the stair builder, these vertices, uh, cardinal directional vertices, will not be on grid. Um, uh, if you go back and watch my tutorial around how to make the perfect pentagram, uh, the reasoning behind that's all explored there. So that's what we'll do there. Do there. Um, that's your that's your steps. We'll make the first. So the best way to do this, you can make the floors individually. Make three D four. Make three D four. Make three D four. You can do it that way. Add 3D floor. Add 3D floor. Still pretty fast. Still a lot quicker than drawing it manually. The fastest way to do it with the 3D floor tool, select all the sectors you want the stairs to be in. Go to your 3D floor mode. Add your 3D floor. Now when you do this, the bottom of the 3D floor will be on the floor of the sectors you, you create. You see it touching it there. So you can edit it. Um... 
either in that window or you can just uh, open up the properties tab, lift them all up, move that floor height higher, and now you can see the underside like so. Because if it's down, if they're touching the um, the floor there, you can't actually select the underside. That's just the way it renders. If it's actually if it's touching the bottom of the of the actual sector there, it will it will um, prevent you from being able to highlight and select. So how thick do you want your stairs? Thirty two is a pretty good uh, stair thickness. Uh, so we'll start with that. Um, now the next step is to separate these all out. And now there's a wondrous function in the 3D4 plugin. It's called split. So detach will separate out whatever 3D floors you've selected um, from the, the rest of them. So if you want to break out like half of them, you can do that. Split will, every dummy sector there will become its own 3D floor. Bang. Done. Tag one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are now all individual 3D floors. This is this is where it gets this is what makes it easy. Is the tool will split it all for you like that. Now you can uh, do exactly the same um, methods for creating incremental stairs. Actually, we've got that one. Keep that on the same height. Select them in the order of the stairs that you want to go up. Ceiling height is the top. So that's sorry, plus plus plus. I wonder if I accept them there. Should have worked. That's being weird. No, there you go. That's no, working fine. Cool. Um, I don't know what was happening there. So we'll try that again. I was rendering it a little bit strange, it looked like. There we go. Cool. So what I did there was selected stairs in the order that you want them to increase. The height offset. So that changes both the floor and the ceiling height. Plus, plus, plus means each one will go up by, by that amount additionally each time. So you want steps of eight. You put an eight. So we'll do that. And then we've got a spiral stair. So you notice that it's a little bit far off the ground. We will select everything. So I'm using the paint select uh, function there. Very handy for this kind of stuff. Lower it down. But, you know, build a little bit of land. We'll, we'll bring it down to just above the floor there. And uh, let's give it a bit of texture. Uh, so we will use a little bit of the nice black, nice black marble. That and let's add in black marble. This move one. There for the tops. Much better looking stairs now. Do the same down here. Dink. We've got a staircase. Let's chuck a maybe you got like a chandelier in the middle. Chuck a chuck a light in the middle there. Make it nice and nice and uh, chunky. Some light on our stairs, like that. Yeah, maybe make that a little bit bigger. Get some light shining on our stairs now. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much how you make a set of spiral stairs. Um, say you wanted to do some trims for these. Easiest way to do that. Select everything again. Grab the uh, stair builder tool. So you want a 16 wide, 16 wide trim like that. Okay. Now, at the moment, these are still the same 3D floor. So you can see when I move the center one, it's moving the whole thing. You want to select those inner sections. And this is where the detach tool is what you want to use. Because what it will do is detach this 3D floor, this tag from this one and create a new tag. There's actually a, you can do it individually. So if I wanted to break these all what we'll do it one at a time you click detach there but there's also a detach all function done 
Now these are all separate. Let's give it a, maybe we'll go for a green marble in there. Do you like the greens? Ah, oh, this is the mod version, that's why it's not showing up. Okay, uh, we'll just use that one. Select all those inner pieces. And we'll just indent that slightly as well. And there we go, a spiral staircase. And then you'd build your build a landing at the top, maybe a little, little set of entrance stairs to get onto it on the bottom tweak the heights um paint select is definitely the best way to select your 3d floors because if you select in 2d mode and then expect that to carry over into 3d mode it does but it also selects the dummy sector the actual sector below as the 3d floor so that, that's a bit of a pain um, so selecting it in 3d mode is the best way to do it and then you can edit it um you know, say i wanted to Drop them all down 16. That's 16 on the height offset. Down they go. Um, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to go through. Um, we will cover off um, something uh, more detailed um, with um, the 3D floor. Let's put in the player start, that might help. Uh, the 3D floor is where we make our bell for Ronnie James Diner, which. Uh, Will be coming up shortly and um, i'll start flood fill is also very good yeah. sorry uh dear runner as much as i love you there you go we've got our stairs nicely indented um and uh you know perfectly arranged So that you can um, you can do some pretty some pretty cool stuff um, with that plugin. So much faster than manually creating all of these sectors. Um, and by selecting in 3D mode, then you can use that height incrementation um, to separate them out vertically um, like that. So that is you know fairly pretty much the basics of the 3D floor plugin. Um, I'll just give a demonstration as to what detach uh, will do. Um, so say we create this little grid here, I'll give you all a 3D floor, fall off the ground a little bit. So I know, this is what I normally do when I first create a 3D floor, I'll raise the bottom so it's not touching the, uh, the bottom sectors. So these are all one at the moment, Let's see how they move like that. Say you wanted to split this in half, so you select those four sectors, detach, now it's half and half. And say you wanted to split these remaining four into individual ones, you'd use the split function and it'll turn them all into separate. So you can see, you know, you can, now I can move them individually. So you can start off by building a big shape, your broad outline, say you want a big floating platform, and then you start chopping it up into pieces um, and using that split and uh, detach function to pull out the pieces that you want to alter. Um, you know, you make a big platform you want to raise half of it detach split it in half uh, the split function is also good say you wanted to do a trim um, around something so say you wanted to do it on these stairs so to get them all to height and I actually did this in Bastion of Chaos so you've got those you know you've got these separations here now still the same sector select those four split they're now all separate I can now use a beveled or a, a seamed texture to um, and then I'll line it you know, that, that that fine that fine level detail that I do so much of um, that's you know, that's a, not the best texture to do that with because uh, it's a bit, bit faint so if we chose something a little bit more noticeable something like uh, where's that white one? It's a good beveling texture. So now I can individually align those pieces, whereas if I don't split it, it stays all the same like that. Yeah, split it out. So this is you know, 
fairly, you know, finickety level detail. Um, but it's the kind of shit that I do. So you go split. Separate now. Now you can align them individually. You get those nice borders. Um, so it's better to do... You build big down to, then then down to the small detail. So you notice I first I made the stairs, got their heights right. So you get that sorted first. Because once you start doing this, it gets progressively more time consuming to do those big picture edits. So if I had made it all flat and then done all the splitting and then set the heights, I couldn't have used the incrementation to get it all set. Um, so it's important to set up the stair heights first and then start detailing them. Um, uh, and certainly splitting things up for trim, trim sectors like this, you definitely want to do that at the end once you've got the shape set and got the um, the heights of your stairs all, all locked in. Um, so that getting that workflow um, in the right order is really important um, for building this kind of stuff as quickly as you can. Um, so yeah, that is how to make a spiral staircase. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, that is it for now. Um, you know where to find me. Uh, we'll see you next time.